now if you watch that video you know that i said one of my own popular opinion and that was that she was being a bit arrogant and not listening to what fraud was trying to say i still stand by that i also think that Venita and Jackie need to get a grip on themselves and leave Kathy alone. The whole show is over. You guys move on. Then I don't believe Omoshala. Omoshala use that diary room. Like everybody, sometimes you be like, get out of there. Get out of there. And then you come and tell me you do not know anything about Big Brother Ninja or whatever. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Petit Diva and this channel is all about reacting to everything reactable and also about compilation videos. So if you like videos such as that, Please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you can notify anytime I upload videos. Now today is all about the BB Niger 2019 reunion. That's the Big Brother Niger 2019 housemate reunion. So we're going to be discussing the day four event um if you've now watched my day three event i will leave a link to, to the video in the description box so that you can check it out now if you watch that video you know that i i said one of my own popular opinion and that was that she was being a bit arrogant and not listening to what fraud was trying to say i still stand by that i also think that Venita and Jackie need to get a grip on themselves and leave Kathy alone. The whole show is over. You guys move on. Kathy did what she wants to do. Kathy is that way. You don't have to associate with her. You can just be um, colleagues in the Big Brother franchise um, business or whatever you can call that. Um, also, I think Omoshala is not being truthful about not knowing anything about Big Brother Niger or Big Brother Africa before entering the house. Now, if you want to know the basis of my unpopular opinion, then keep on watching. So, let me do a recap of the events that occurred. There were six housemates that were invited to the day four session, at least physically in the studio. We had Shei, we had Fraud. We had Omoshala, we had Jackie, we had Venita, and we had Kim Opera. So I think the whole focus was supposed to be, the whole focus of that day's session was supposed to be on the diary room and uh, thoughts about Biggie. So they did, a, they showed a clip of some of the housemates talking about Biggie, what Biggie meant to them, and the rest of the rest. Then they now focused on on the diary room session and showed some clips of people's diary session. They showed um, when she talked about the fact that he was getting close to Tatcha and he really doesn't like it. They showed a session of when um, Omashala was complaining about something and complaining about the loss of his coins and whatever. Ebuka talked about the fact that Omoshala's first diary session was a hit online that a lot of people loved it and a lot it, it was trending. People were wondering what was going on with Omoshala because you know Omoshala talks a lot. And then he now put a question about um between Jackie and Omoshala who used the um who used the diary session the most and you use the well because it says something like most of the past there was a housemate of the bb ninja and b brother africa say so you win the show through you, most of the time you win the show in the the diary room either through your talking or through your nomination so jackie felt like okay that um Omoshala we actually used it well because he talked about things it was not really being spiteful while the other party she actually called the other party and and um Ibuka was like so you don't want to say her name she's not like the other party then Vanessa said the parrot party and Jackie now said the parrot party like she felt that the parrot party which is Kathy 
was using it to spite people, was really using it to talk negative about people, that she went there with a vendetta and then um, blah, blah, blah. So she felt she really used the diary to like paint people in negative, um, in a negative light. And then also when Benita was um, asked, Benita felt that she overdid it, that she was, she actually said she, she actually mimicked her, if I can put a clip, and then said Kathy was putting on a production, not really having a conversation with Big Brother, that she was putting up a Nollywood production. And at the end, she was like, oh, that Kathy really, that she has to give it to Kathy, Kathy did well, Kathy put up a show. And I think I said, there was nothing wrong with that. She was like, yes, but... It just felt somehow not genuine and everything. And then Omashala kept on insisting that he had not watched past um, seasons. So he didn't really know what goes on in the um, diary room or that people were using it to win the show. That if he knew, he wouldn't have said some things that he said in the diary room. That he was just talking to Biggie like Biggie was his God. He did not hold anything back. He just talked everything and Moshala we know Moshala talked everything and anything in that diary room he did the most but he kept on insisting that he had not seen the previous shoot and then fraud came and said that he doesn't really believe that people would not really, um, watch the previous season like how can you go for an exam or go for a show without knowing anything about the show before and everything but Jackie was like, she did not watch previous shows, but she kept on feeling that Omoshala watched because he really used the diary room. She said, she insisted that those that used the diary room were those that did well in the diary room had actually seen previous, um, previous seasons. Um, also, um, Ibuka asked Shay about Kathy and he was like, Kathy is a bit, um, I don't know what the word is, that she's not stable, that she changes according to the environment she is in. Venita called her insecure. And then Ibuka asked Kim Oprah a question because I think Kim Oprah had said something towards this line. She felt like Biggie did not like her said because then Ibuka asked her to explain she felt that Biggie did not make her comfortable that they were just new there that Biggie was just like what do you want or how are you gave her um, close-ended questions or something and so she felt she was not the Biggie didn't make her comfortable that everybody is different and Jackie also agreed that at the point she didn't even know anything about what the diary session was that Biggie was supposed to have made them comfortable and then her and I'm like Okay. Okay. Then they invited some of the housemates to um on the screen like a Zoom call or whatever. And so we had Ike joining in and then we had Mercy and Tasha. So they showed a clip of Kathy and Mercy when they were discussing about um big brother and how they were crushing on big brother that the, most of the time the boys mix them just feel one kind of way and everything. So then I asked uh, Mercy. Mercy was like, oh, it's voice that sometimes you have so many things to say. By the time she enters the diary room, she listens to his voice. She has forgotten everything. Uh, she now says something about if her boyfriend and everybody was like, oh, are you? Because like, are you trying to shape somebody? And then the screen panned to Ike. And there was a laugh. And then... um. I think they asked Tasha what um what she felt about Big Brother, how she felt about Big Brother. When Tasha was introduced earlier, Kim was smiling and acting one guy run away. And uh I don't know. I was just like, please you people don't start drama this night again. Anyway, they showed a particular session, diary session of uh, fraud and then Ibuka asked him do you do you know who you were talking about or something fraud was like either mike um she or somebody i've forgotten 
And then um, he now talked about his feelings about she. That at that time he entered the house, his mother was having a surgery, and he was feeling really, really emotional. And he was like, he doesn't know whether he should continue with the show or go back home. Like, he doesn't even know what he's going to find at home. That he came to the show to make a name for himself so that he can take care of his family and take care, especially of his mom. That so he was now having like a contradictory mindset in the house and was really feeling emotional so it felt really bad that um people kept on nominating him and kept on going up for eviction and he, it, the, he was just really emotional so he was not talking about he had come he had talked to she and he had spoken to she one-on-one -on -one and everything so he felt that she is supposed to understand him and everything she and I tried to cancel her and they were going back and forth. Then Fred said something that your mother even apologized on your behalf. And she was just like, what? What? And it now became a, it was going to escalate to something else. Um, Ebuka tried to make she keep quiet and everything, let Fred talk and everything. Fred was just talking and it was like he felt that he was stabbed in the back and everything. And she kept on insisting that hey, if they were still in the house, he was still going to nominate him, blah, and blah, and blah. And that was where the whole thing kind of ended and it got wrapped it up for the next day, which would be on Monday. And which way, that was the whole thing that occurred. Now, I really don't know what the gang up between Benita and Jackie against Kathy Jack is all about. They need to let go. The girl played a game in the house and use the police sense on all of them and everybody except you are able to see that she's one kind of way and it worked because at the end of the day she was the second highest winner in that house she won a car she won all kinds of things i can't even remember but i know she won the car using her head and make and making smart moves using all of them's head even though it was double for me i felt that was kind of a terrible move but like everybody keeps on saying it's a game it's a game so Benita and Trent the actually needs to let go you don't have to be afraid you can just be acquaintances like Elias said then I don't believe Omoshala Omoshala use that diary room like everybody sometimes be like get out of there get out of there and then you come and tell me you do not know anything about big brother Ninja or whatever personally i could have said that i don't know anything about big brother Ninja or um the diary room because i'd never watched the diary room i'd never watched anything about the diary room yet i've seen clips of big brother Ninja and big brother africa and everything i'd watched the first episode of or the first season of big brother africa but i never used to watch the full day we just used to watch the sunday highlights and that was all so i didn't know anything about diary room but as a pharmacist i when they entered the diary room and they were talking it clicked to me that this was supposed to be like a session, a therapy session. So me, I felt that everybody's supposed to use that. When they ask you questions, you are supposed to talk. You're not supposed to be and trying to play smart with Biggie. But most of them were uptight and trying to play smart. The ones that were not uptight, which is Kafi and um, e, Omashala, and sometimes Benita was really comfortable and, uh, with Biggie and would talk. EK2 did a bit, he would talk, and Mercy too. But the rest were well, trying to form smartness. He asked you questions like, um, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like, you are in a confined space. That was where you were supposed to let go of everything. But they were always conscious of the camera. Not only that, by talking and bringing out everything, by saying everything they felt, they were actually going to win people. I don't know. But me, I just felt that they should have used it as a therapy session. So basically what I'm saying is that I just felt they should have used it as a therapy session. I did not know that you win people through the diary room. I feel that, yes, he might not have watched past season. But he once said he was close to one of the Big Brother Africa housemates. Or winner, I don't know. That was Tyre. So even if he didn't know so much about it, maybe Tyre could have told him some things about the show. I really don't know. But I, my unpopular opinion, 
is I don't believe him completely. Then we she I really don't understand why she behaves so arrogantly sometimes. Like someone is saying his point, you should at least admit, okay, fine. He, he, I'm sorry that you felt like I was betraying you, but it was a game. But the way you to keep on insisting, eh, I would still nominate. Eh, 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 I, I liked seeing. It just gives me the vibe that uh, this guy really needs a uh, humility check. I think I always put him on a higher pedestal for some things because he's a psychologist and I expect him to be able to understand people's, um, kind of understand people's point of view and then work with them. I don't know, but I just felt that someone was telling you that he felt betrayed, really, and you guys are supposed to try and be friends, but I think they don't want to be friends. But another thing that made me very um, upset was the tweet he sent, or rather the tweet he tweeted, is that a word? And it was, newsflash, my son loves you. It calls, I am sorry for what my son did, thinking, LOL, it's all love, bro, it's all entertainment. And then he had one of his faces, whatever. And I'm like, yes, it's entertainment, but this is somebody's emotion this is somebody that's talking to you and telling you that this is what he felt i feel that with this whole reunion she has become something else i don't know whether he's trying to do the last hurrah or whatever they call that i don't know he has just become something else personally that's my own opinion you can differ from it no problem but that is what I feel. And that is what happened on day four. This week, a new set of episodes are going to be aired. And I hope you join me for the recap and my popular opinion. It's not going to be what everybody feels. And if you want a different set of opinion, then please subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification i by the side so that you need to find any time i upload videos thank you so much for watching i have to see you in the next one bye